Food service worker jobs are some of the most important in the food industry. They involve working with food that is served to customers in restaurants, hospitals, schools, prisons, and other institutions. Food service workers may also be responsible for cleaning and sanitizing kitchen areas and equipment. If you're applying for a food service worker job, it's important to be prepared. For the interview, this guide will help you answer some common interview questions that you may be asked. Are you comfortable working with food and cleaning equipment in a busy environment? Employers ask this question to make sure you're comfortable working in a fast-paced environment. They want someone who can work quickly and efficiently while still maintaining quality standards. In your answer, explain that you enjoy being busy and are willing to do whatever it takes to help the team succeed. Example: Absolutely, I have extensive experience working in food service. And I'm very comfortable with both preparing food and cleaning equipment. I'm used to working in a fast-paced environment where there are multiple tasks that need to be completely quickly and efficiently. I understand the importance of following safety protocols when handling food and cleaning equipment, and take pride in ensuring that all areas are kept clean and organized. I also enjoy interacting with customers and providing excellent customer service. Two, what are your best qualities that make you a good food service worker? Employers ask this question to learn more about your personality and how you would fit in with their team. They want someone who is friendly, hardworking. And dependable. When answering this question, think of a few qualities that make you unique or stand out from other candidates. Try to focus on positive traits like being organized, having good communication skills, or being passionate about food service work. Example. I believe my best qualities that make me a great food service worker are my attention to detail, my strong work ethic, and my customer service skills. I have always been very detail oriented when it comes to preparing meals and ensuring the highest quality of food is served. My commitment is to excellence. In all aspects of food service, has enabled me to quickly learn new recipes and techniques. In addition, I am known for having a strong work ethic and an eagerness to help out wherever needed. I understand the importance of working as part of a team, and take pride in being able to contribute to the success of the restaurant. Finally, I possess. Excellent customer service skills, which allow me to provide customers with a pleasant dining experience. I strive to ensure each customer leaves feeling satisfied with the meal and overall experience. Three, how would you handle a situation where a customer is unhappy with their food? Employers ask this question to make sure you have the skills necessary to resolve customer complaints. In your answer, explain how you would use your problem-solving and conflict resolution skills to help customers feel satisfied with their dining experience. Example: If A customer is unhappy with their food. I at first apologize for the inconvenience and ask them what specifically they are not happy with. This will help me determine how to best address the situation. 
After listening to their feedback, they would take appropriate action, such as offering a replacement dish or providing a refund if necessary. Understand that customer satisfaction is of utmost importance in the food service industry. So I always strive to provide excellent customer service. My goal is to ensure that all customers leave satisfied with their experience. Four, what is your experience with cleaning and sanitizing kitchen equipment? This question can help interviewers understand your experience with a key food service task. They may ask this to see if you have the skills and knowledge to complete this important job function. If you don't have direct experience, you can talk about how you would approach cleaning kitchen equipment in your previous roles. Example, I have extensive experience with cleaning and sanitizing kitchen equipment. Understand the importance of maintaining a clean and safe environment for food preparation. So I take extra care to ensure that all surfaces are properly cleaned and sanitized after each use. In my previous job, I was responsible for cleaning and sanitizing all kitchen equipment on a daily basis. This included wiping down counters, sinks, stoves, ovens, refrigerators, freezers, and other surfaces. I also made sure to follow all safety protocols when handling chemicals and using cleaning supplies. My attention to detail and commitment to following proper sanitation procedures has enabled me to keep kitchens in top condition. 5. Provide an example of how you have improved your customer service skills. Employers ask this question to see how you can apply your skills in a real-world situation. When answering, think of an example that shows how you used your customer service skills to help others and improve the quality of the experience. Example I have always taken pride in providing excellent customer service. In my current role as a food service worker, I strive to ensure that every customer is satisfied with the experience. Recently, I implemented a new system for tracking customer feedback and complaints. This system has allowed me to better understand the needs of our customers and address any issues they may have quickly and efficiently. By taking the time to listen to our customers' concerns and addressing them promptly, I have been able to uh, improve our overall customer satisfaction ratings significantly. In addition, I have also taken steps to increase efficiency in the kitchen by streamlining processes and improving communication between staff members. This has resulted in faster turnaround times and improved accuracy, which has led to an even higher level of customer satisfaction. 6. If a co-worker was not pulling their weight, how would you address the issue? Employers ask this question to make sure you can work well with others. They want to know that you are a team player and will support your co-workers when you need it. When answering, try to focus on how you would approach the situation in a positive way. Try to avoid any negative language or examples of what not to do. Example, if a co-worker was not pulling their weight, I'd first try to understand the reason why. It could be that um, they are overwhelmed with tasks or don't have the necessary resources 
to complete them. If this is the case, I would offer assistance and guidance on how to better manage their workload. If it's something more serious, such as lack of motivation or poor performance, I would speak to them in private and discuss what can be done to improve the situation. I believe in open communication and creating an environment where everyone feels comfortable expressing their concerns. I'd also encourage them to ask for help if needed. Seven, what would you do if you notice a health code violation in the kitchen? Employers ask this question to make sure you understand the importance of following health codes and regulations. They want to know that you will report violations immediately, so you can take action before customers get sick. In your answer, explain how you would handle the situation. If it ever happened at a previous job, or describe what steps you would take to ensure it doesn't happen in the future. Example: If I notice a health code violation in the kitchen, my first priority would be to take immediate action. I'm well versed with local and state health codes. So I know how to handle any violations that may arise. My first step would be to identify the issue, and then address it accordingly. Depending on the severity of the violation, I would either alert the manager or take steps to correct it myself. If necessary, I would also document the incident and report it to the appropriate authorities. Eight. How well do you follow instructions? Employers ask this question to make sure you can follow their instructions and policies. They want to know that you are a team player who is willing to learn from them. In your answer, explain how important it is for you to be able to do what your manager asks of you. Explain that you will take the time to understand any instructions. Or policies they give you. Example: I understand the importance of following instructions, and I take it very seriously. I have a great attention to detail, which helps me ensure that I follow all instructions accurately. I also make sure to ask questions if I am ever unsure about something. So that I can get clarification before proceeding, I believe in taking initiative when it comes to following directions, as this ensures that tasks are completed efficiently and correctly. Finally, I always strive to stay organized and keep track of my progress while completing tasks, which helps me stay on task and adhere to any given instructions. Nine. Do you have an experience working in the food delivery industry? Employers may ask this question to learn more about your experience working in a fast-paced environment. If you have previous food delivery experience, share what type of work you did and how it prepared you for the role you're interviewing for. If you don't have an experience working in the industry, You can talk about other experiences that are similar, such as working in a restaurant or cafeteria. Example: Yes, I have extensive experience working in the food delivery industry. For the past five years, I have been a food service worker at ABC Restaurant, where I was responsible for delivering food to customers. During my time there, I developed、uh, excellent customer service skills and learned how to handle difficult situations with ease. I also gained an understanding of proper sanitation procedures and safety protocols 
that are necessary when handling food. In addition, I am familiar with various software programs used in the food delivery industry, such as order tracking systems and payment processing applications. My experience has prepared me to excel in this role, and I am confident that I can make a positive contribution to your team. Ten, when preparing food, what methods do you use to ensure that the food is prepared safely? Food service workers need to be aware of the proper food safety procedures. This question helps employers understand how you ensure that customers' food is prepared safely and free from contamination. In your answer, explain what steps you take to keep yourself safe while preparing food, and how you make sure it's safe for others to eat. Example: When preparing food. I take safety very seriously. My first priority is to make sure that all of the ingredients and equipment are clean and sanitized. I always check expiration dates on any perishable items before using them in a dish. I also follow proper storage guidelines for all food items, making sure they are stored at the correct temperature. And away from potential contaminants, I am well versed in food safety regulations, and have experience following HACCP plans. I understand the importance of avoiding cross contamination between raw and cooked foods, and I use separate utensils and cutting boards when working with each type of food. Finally. I always practice safe handling techniques, such as washing my hands frequently and wearing gloves when necessary. Eleven, we want to improve our customer service. Describe a strategy that you would use to improve our customer service. Customer service is an important aspect of any food service position. Employers ask this question to see if you have strategies for improving customer service and how you would do so. In your answer, explain a strategy that you used in the past to improve customer service. Explain what steps you took to implement the strategy and what results you achieved. Example. I believe that the key to improving customer service is to ensure that all employees are properly trained and understand their roles in providing excellent customer service. I would start by creating a comprehensive training program for all new hires, as well as existing staff members. This program should cover topics such as. Proper etiquette when interacting with customers, how to handle difficult situations, and how to provide an exceptional level of service. In addition to this, I would also encourage regular feedback from customers so that we can identify areas where improvements need to be made. We could do this through surveys. Or even just asking customers directly about their experience. This will help us to make sure that our customer service standards remain high. Finally, I think it's important to reward employees who go above and beyond to provide great customer service. This could be done through recognition programs or incentives like gift cards or bonuses. Twelve. Describe your experience in serving food in a cafeteria. Employers ask this question to learn more about your experience in a food service setting. They want to know if you have any unique skills or abilities that make you stand out from other applicants. 
Use your answer to highlight the most important aspects of working in a cafeteria and how they help you develop your skills as a food service worker. Example: I have extensive experience in serving food in a cafeteria setting. For the past three years, I have been working as a food service worker at my current job. And have gained valuable knowledge of how to efficiently serve customers. My duties included taking orders from customers, preparing meals according to their specifications, and ensuring that all orders were delivered on time. I also had to ensure that the dining area was kept clean and organized throughout the day. In addition to this, I am familiar with health and safety regulations related to food service, such as proper storage and handling of food items. I am also knowledgeable about different dietary requirements and can adjust recipes accordingly. Finally, I am experienced in using POS systems for payment processing and customer tracking. Thirteen, what makes you stand out from other candidates? Employers ask this question to learn more about your qualifications and how you can contribute to their team. When answering, it's important to highlight a skill or quality that makes you unique from other candidates. You may also want to mention something that relates to the job description. Example: I believe my experience in the food and service industry makes me stand out from other candidates. I have been a food service worker for over five years, and during that time, I have developed strong skills in customer service, communication, problem solving, and multitasking. My ability to work efficiently and effectively under pressure. Has enabled me to consistently provide excellent service to customers. Additionally, I am passionate about food safety and hygiene. I always ensure that all food is prepared according to health regulations and standards. I also take pride in keeping my workplace clean and organized at all times. Finally, I am highly motivated and eager to learn new things. I am confident that these qualities will make me an asset to your team. Fourteen, which food service job have you performed that you like the most? Employers ask this question to learn more about your experience and what you enjoy doing. They want to make sure that the job they're offering you is something you'll be happy with, so it's important to answer honestly. If you have previous food service experience, think about which position you enjoy most. If you don't have any prior experience, consider which of the positions in the restaurant would be the most interesting for you. Example: I have worked in food service for the past five years, and I have enjoyed every job that I have had. My favorite position was working as a line cook at a local restaurant. I really enjoyed being able to work with my hands, creating delicious dishes from scratch. It was also very rewarding to see customers enjoying their meals. The fast-paced environment kept me on my toes and motivated me to do my best each day. I'm confident that this experience has prepared me well for any food service position. Fifteen. What do you think is the most important skill for a food service worker to have? Employers ask this question. To see if you have the skills they're looking for 
in a food service worker. They want someone who is friendly, organized, and has good customer service skills. When answering this question, think about what skills you have. That are important for this role. Explain why their skills are important, and give an example of how you use them in your work. Example. I believe the most important skill for a food service worker is to have excellent customer service. As a food service worker. I understand that my job is to provide customers with an enjoyable dining experience. This means providing friendly and attentive service from start to finish. It also requires being able to anticipate customer needs and respond quickly to any requests or concerns they have, may have. In addition to excellent customer service. I think it's important for a food service worker to be organized and efficient. This helps ensure orders are prepared correctly and in a timely manner. Being organized also allows me to multitask when needed and stay on top of all tasks throughout the day. Sixteen. How often do you perform routine cleaning and sanitation in the kitchen? This question can help the interviewer understand your experience with cleaning and sanitation procedures. Use examples from previous jobs to explain how you complete this task, including any specific tools or techniques that you use. Example. I understand the importance of routine cleaning and sanitation in the kitchen. I make sure to clean and sanitize all surfaces, equipment, and utensils after each shift. I also perform a deep clean every week,、uh, which includes scrubbing floors, walls, and other hard-to-reach areas. Finally, I ensure that all food is stored properly. And that any leftovers are disposed of immediately. This helps to keep our kitchen safe and hygienic for everyone who works there. Seventeen. There is a conflict between you and a customer. How do you handle it? Employers ask this question to make sure you have conflict resolution skills. They want to know that you can handle a situation. Where someone is upset with you, or the restaurant, and still remain calm and professional. In your answer, explain how you would approach the situation and what steps you would take to resolve it. Example: When it comes to conflict resolution, I believe in taking a calm and professional approach. First. I'd listen carefully to the customer's concerns and try to understand their perspective. Then I would explain my point of view in a respectful manner, while being open to compromise. Finally, if necessary, I'd seek assistance from a supervisor or a manager to help resolve the issue. I have extensive experience working with customers. In the food service industry, so I'm confident that I can handle any conflicts that may arise. My goal is always to ensure that all parties involved are satisfied with the outcome. So I strive to maintain a positive relationship between myself and the customer. Eighteen. Have you ever worked with a team in a restaurant kitchen? Working in a restaurant kitchen can be challenging, especially when you're working with a team. Employers ask this question to see if you have experience working as part of a team and how well you work together. When answering this question, it can be helpful to mention 
one or two specific instances where you worked with a team in the past. Example one. I've actually never worked in a restaurant kitchen before, but I do have some experience working with a team. In my last job, I was responsible for taking orders at the front counter while another employee prepared food in the back. We had to communicate often so that we could make sure all customers received their food quickly. Example two. Yes, I have worked with a team in a restaurant kitchen. During my previous position as a food service worker, I was part of a team that prepared and served meals to customers. We had to work together efficiently to ensure that orders were fulfilled quickly and accurately. I learned how to communicate effectively with other members of the team, and how to delegate tasks so that everyone could contribute their best efforts. My experience working on a team has taught me the importance of collaboration and communication in order to achieve success. I am confident that I can bring this same level of teamwork to your restaurant kitchen. Nineteen. How would you handle a situation where there is a shortage of food supplies? Employers ask this question to make sure you have the ability to think on your feet and solve problems. In your answer, try to show that you can be creative in finding solutions to challenges. Try to also emphasize how important it is to maintain customer satisfaction, even when there are shortages. Example. If I were faced with a shortage of food supplies, my first step would be to assess the situation. I would take inventory of what is available and determine how much of each item is needed for the day service. Once I have an understanding of the current supply levels, I can then begin to prioritize orders and look for alternative sources if necessary. I am also experienced in creating menus that are creative yet cost-effective. This means I can work within the existing budget and still provide quality meals to customers. In addition, I am familiar with food safety regulations and understand the importance of proper storage and handling techniques. Finally, I'm able to communicate effectively with vendors and colleges to ensure that all needs are met in a timely manner. Twenty. What safety procedures do you follow when handling and preparing food? Employers ask this question to make sure you understand the importance of food safety. And how it can affect your customers, they want to know that you have a strong understanding of what makes food safe, as well as how to properly handle and prepare it. In your answer, explain which procedures you follow and why they're important. Example: Safety is a top priority. When it comes to handling and preparing food, I always make sure that I am following all of the safety procedures set by my employer, as well as any applicable state or federal regulations. This includes washing my hands thoroughly before and after handling food, wearing gloves while prepping ingredients, and ensuring that all utensils and surfaces. Are properly sanitized. I also take extra precautions such as keeping raw meats、uh, separate from other foods, using different cutting boards for each type of food, and making sure that all food items are cooked to the proper temperature. 
Finally, I always double check labels on products to ensure that they have not expired. By following the safety protocols, I can guarantee that the food I prepare will be safe and delicious. Thank you for watching.